Well, it's that time when in a normal year, all eyes would be on the upcoming spring break, right? Well, after a year at home, so many of us are ready just to get out of town. And now that vaccinations are in full swing and COVID numbers are coming down, travel agencies are reporting new signs of life and people are booking trips again. Now, a lot of people have their eyes set on Florida. That's pretty normal. But what will you find if you head to the Sunshine State this year? Our Manny Abraham says, eh, you may want to think twice. Activity is already picking up on Miami Beach's Ocean Drive, welcoming vacationers and spring breakers. I just want to be outside, and when you're here, it's like, oh. But there's concerns from city leaders. Last year, people flocked to the area for spring break before the beaches closed due to COVID-19. Could there be another situation like it? Yeah, I can see a situation. Look, listen, we, you can't let people get hurt. It's just it's that simple. You can't put people in. The mayor of Miami Beach isn't clear about whether he has the legal authority to close the beach. NBC News asked the governor's office for clarification, but didn't hear back. There are some restrictions in place in Miami Beach, including a midnight curfew. Don't be foolish. Don't come here if you think this is an anything goes environment. We will arrest you. We will ruin your time here. And no alcohol on the beach. People end up drinking too much and then they act in ways that they shouldn't. So we want to prevent that. But in places farther north, like Broward County and Fort Lauderdale, they're still mulling over a midnight curfew. In terms of a curfew, definitely as a last resort for a limited time, as limited as possible. Now, the CDC still recommends people avoid traveling during this time, but they do offer some guidance on their website if you need to travel, including to look at things like getting tested, avoiding crowded spaces, and of course, wearing your mask. I'm Annie Abraham, 3 News. So check this out, Jay. Last year, according to USTravel.org, travel spending totaled $679 billion. That may sound amazing, right? Oh, they're fine. Keep in mind that is a 42% drop wow. from 2019. That's <laughs> almost half. International travel spending fell 76%. So once wow. the cuffs are off, I have a feeling a lot of folks are going to have some money to spend on vacation. Yeah, I, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they said, here's what the worst part about the fact that we might be going into a second spring travel vacation season mm -hmm. with, with no, nothing to look forward to. Remember at the beginning, and this was a national thing, not just Ohio, two weeks to flatten the curve. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, well, yeah, we could do two weeks. That's great. Right. And that's turned into right. 54 weeks to flatten the curve. And I think that was just a product of we didn't know. Yep. You know, it was, it was early on. Remember early on, too, they were saying, don't wear masks. That can make it worse. Remember that? Yep. So we've learned a lot during this. I will say, though, we're a lot closer to the end than the beginning. You know, and, and that's the silver lining. Just be patient a little bit longer. Yeah.